All right, well, I'm waiting on parts so for the Dr. Stifler's uh, SEC circuit, and uh, the part that I'm waiting on is the correct transistor. But uh, I did get it to run with a TIP3055 transistor um, and uh, change things around a bit to get this to work. And it's been a lot of fun fiddling with this while I wait for the right transistor. <coughs> and I did get this to uh, run on 1.5 volts, uh, also with a solar cell and also with a supercapacitor. So uh, this is very similar to the um, Jewel Thief at this point. It's running at about 25 milliamps on the low end on up. And I'm running it with two LEDs because I make these things into little uh, robot head type of things. But uh, anyway, I've got it hooked up on the scope here to show you what the waveform looks like too. Very interesting. I've had a lot of fun with this. but. I did the inductor different than was called for. I actually mounted, I believe this is uh, L3 or L2 right there. It's it's the tunable inductor. This is L1, L2, and I believe this is what they call L3 on the circuit. And uh, I mounted it crosswise in here and I made this into a transformer basically. So this is not uh, Dr. Stifler's idea. Uh, this is something different. Um, the way I'm doing it, I would never get the results that he uh, he has gotten doing it this way. But I got this thing to run, and and that's what I'm interested in is can I get it to run? So let me show you how it works. I'm just going to plug in the system right there, and you can see it's oscillating right now, but the LEDs aren't on. Um, but that's the simple waveform on the oscillator. And now I'm going to turn this up, and you're going to see this uh, come to life. As I put the inductor in, watch this. This will come. There go the eyes, and there go the uh, the waveform that we're looking for right there. And that's the high spike um, scenario that, that we look for on these circuits and right now it is running on uh, one AA battery right here and you can see the LEDs are lit up and I can make them brighter by increasing this or dimmer and actually yeah, they go bright that way dimmer this way and I'm doing that with a 25 ohm rheostat it's just a plain old wire wound um, dimmer switch like you'd find in your car Radio Shack sells them for a few bucks and I use this in a lot of my experiments to adjust the input um, power to a circuit. Uh, they don't handle a lot of power, but they do work on something small like this. But look at the waveform as I adjust this. You see how it goes up and down. Very interesting waveform, different than the Jewel Thief. It's a different, uh, different scenario. And you adjust it. Uh, by moving this in and out, this inductor, by moving it in and out, watch the waveform when I do that. See, there it goes into just basic oscillation. And then when you get it right, bing, the magic happens. And that's those tall spikes that we're looking for. And that's what makes the, the, um, the thing work, are these tall spikes. So, anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the battery away and show you that uh, it runs on just a capacitor. There goes the battery. The battery's gone, and it's still running. There's a waveform right there. Now, what it's running on here, this isn't magic. This is just a supercapacitor. It's a 2.3 volt, 10 farad supercapacitor, and um, uh, there's the LEDs. And I, I can uh, adjust those just like I would adjust the battery up and down, as far as brightness is concerned. And like I say, this is running at about 25 milliamps, probably up to about 50, 60, 70 milliamps. It's, it's not real great at this point, but it is working, and it does work. And like I say, I'm happy with the waveform on this. And when I get the correct transistor, I'm going to be trying to do the CFL. There's a lot of stuff I don't understand yet about this, and there's parts i got to make. I've got to make a thing called a gate. And I went down and got the parts for that um, yesterday. Now the solar cell part of it, um, I've got a lamp here turned off right now, and I'm going to disconnect the um, power source right now, which is the supercapacitor, 
And there go the eyes, there goes the waveform. Now I'm going to lay the, the light down on the solar cell. And watch the oscilloscope as this thing comes to life. There it goes. And there goes the magic right there again. And this is all happening with light. And there are the LEDs. I'll take this away. Watch the LEDs come on. And watch this waveform. This is just like the jewel thief, and this just starts up rather soon. It's just you're not seeing it on the LEDs, but this is running at this point. And then uh, as this gets to the point where the magic starts, right there is when the LEDs actually come on. They start doing their thing, the diodes. So that's real interesting. But anyway, I had a lot of fun with this, especially um, using the solar panel with the with the supercapacitor, and this supercapacitor idea, I really like this because they don't wear out. You know, they just um, you just charge them up, you zap them with a battery, or put the solar cell on them, and uh, there they go again. And um, I've got uh, my little um, robot jewel thieves, uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. A couple of them are running on these supercapacitors, and and I really like them a lot. But that's the latest. This is uh, Doctor Stifler SEC, and it's uh, my variation on on the uh, circuit. Um, there's one other thing I want to mention. On the back part here, where it comes off here, it goes through the diodes into the LEDs, or then it goes to a CFL or whatever. Um, it does work, and they do light up without a connection back to the circuit. It will also go with a connection to earth ground, or even if you just hold it. Now, I have connected this back to the negative rail. And when you do that, actually the amp draw goes down and the LED brightness goes up, at least on this circuit. So I just wanted to mention that, that uh, you can do that on, on at least this thing that I built here. Anyway, that's, that's my latest little project while I wait for the correct transistors.